but do a meditation based on, on uh, uh, you know, giving, being thankful for what we have. And there's a, I was just reading a quote here by somebody that, uh, Melody uh, Beatty, M Melody Beatty, anybody know that name? I mean, who that is? Okay. But there's a quote f that I found online from her, and I liked it. So, uh, Melody, if you're, if you're listening, thank you. Um, but the, the quote is, Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. And I think that's all true about, about gratitude. Gratitude is um, it's a different way of seeing, seeing things, but, but it's also a different way of, of feeling things, like feeling our way through the world. And, uh, you know, really touching our heart with experiences and being grateful for everything that, that we encounter. Um, if we, you know, if we aren't in uh, constant pain, if we aren't, you know, constantly miserable and, and um, you know, having, uh, you know, difficulties and, and, and being, you know, so ill that we just wish we weren't alive anymore, it, beyond feeling that way, we should be very grateful for everything we have. You know, for the, every time we wake up in the morning, we should be grateful for another day, another opportunity, you know, to, to really make a difference in the world. And if we're not, we should, um, we should work at that. And I think it can be worked at, just like metta, you know, loving kindness. You know, as meditators, we, we practice loving kindness and we can get very, very good at it. You know, it actually changes our heart. It changes who we are, starting from the inside. And then um, eventually it, it changes our world and it changes how people view us and how how we work with others and how we are, you know, with others. So gratitude is is really is one of the Brahma Viharas. Uh, it's it's very not not any different than than this unconditional love. And I, actually, I think it's a part of that. Except we're not applying that unconditional love towards a, a being. We're applying it towards everyday existence and every everything, you know. And it's just really another another perception is how we perceive things. Do we take things for granted? You know, do we look at things like a like a spoiled child, you know, where we just kind of, you know, uh, expect the, these things to be there, you know? Or or do we actually, you know, take a stop and and see all of the things that we have in this life, um, experiences and physical things, you know, the, 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 uh, the, you know, the people and, you know, just everything, every, every moment, every, every breath and every, um, every day, you know, really take advantage of it and, and appreciate it. So I ask you to please make yourself comfortable. Gently close the eyes. And just bring your attention to the breath and see how that feels for you. And take a moment and be grateful and thankful for this opportunity to meditate right now. A lot of people can't. You know, they have other things going on. They have other things that are 
distracting them in such a way that they, they can't meditate. Maybe there's family matters, or maybe they're working. And maybe they don't have the tools, maybe they don't know how to meditate. So first of all, we can be thankful for the opportunity to meditate and the opportunity to know about meditation and the opportunity to do it at this moment, at this time, and with people that we can also be thankful for, other people in our lives, people that kind of think along the same lines as we do, that meditation is very beneficial can be a life-changing experience. So one of the things that I feel that we can very, be very thankful for is something I experienced this year, and, and that's to be in good health. A lot of you know that I had a uh, diagnosis with cancer, and, and um, for many, many different reasons, um, the whole diagnosis has been turned around and um, things are looking very good and the, the, the scans and the tests are actually showing uh, zero cancer at this time. We'll continue testing, and um, but I'm, long story short, I'm very, very thankful for, for my good health and for um, for Terry, for uh, my partner, for helping me with go through that, helping me with the diet and everything that is necessary, even finances. So even if your health isn't great, it can always be worse. And you can, even if you still have some of your working parts, we can be grateful for what we have. And as mentioned, if we're not in constant pain, we can be thankful for the health that we have. Something that is very true, and especially in this day and age, is being thankful for, to have some money in the bank. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be in the bank, but any kind of money saved. And having just a few coins makes us richer than most people in the entire world. Just having a, a little bit of money makes us richer than most of the people in the world. So we can be very thankful for that. And of course, having good friends. I wouldn't be anywhere if I didn't have good friends and um, people that have like like-minded interests as myself. And it's really the, the quality of the friends and not the quantity. I'm lucky enough to have both. Very thankful. And we can be, we can be thankful for our freedom of religion. Whether we consider ourselves a Christian or Jewish or Hindu or Buddhist, whatever it might be, we know that there's a freedom there that we can express. And being meditators, we are very fortunate to be able to have this practice where it doesn't matter what religion we are, even if we don't claim our religion at all, which many of us might not, and that's fine too. We can be very thankful for our spiritual views and being a spiritual person, period. We can be thankful for our parents. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be here. Even if they're dysfunctional, they gave you life. We can Thank them in person if we're, if we're fortunate enough. If not, we can thank them from within and just imagine that they will hear us regardless. 
We can be thankful for weekends. There's something magical about weekends when they come around. That kind of is the uh, big part of the week for most people. And we can be thankful for having a partner if that's if that's what we have and if that's what we did have or will have. Even uh, being in a romantic relationship can teach us about the world and it can teach us a great deal about ourselves. Even if that relationship didn't work out or isn't working out, it's, it's still there for a reason. And if it is working out, it's very wonderful. Loving relationships are something that really changes life for us, changes our world. And we can be thankful for our pets, the animals in our lives. They, they are the ones that really offer us the most unconditional love in many cases than any other being. Something that we can learn from them. We can be thankful for our mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. If we never made mistakes, we wouldn't learn very much. And then the opportunity to get an education is something that we can be very thankful for, especially in the United States here. I think everybody that is online is from the US or maybe Canada as well, but we can be very thankful for the education and the opportunity to have an education. And even the opportunities to, to receive an education online, it's a very incredible you know, opportunities that we have now. And if we have a home, we can be very thankful for that. If we live in an apartment, we can be thankful for that. Wherever we call home is something that we created. So whether it's a mansion or a tent, having a place to call home is something that we can be grateful for. You can be thankful for the ability to read. I know I wouldn't be able to help as many people as I do if I wasn't able to read, so it's, that's a big part of our lives, something that we forget about, something that we can be thankful for. We can be thankful for breathing fresh air, Being able to get outside and breathe fresh air is a good reminder of how many of the little things that we can be thankful for. We can be thankful for a, a bed to sleep in. This is one of the things that we take for granted every day. We can be thankful for laughter and the world would be a very sad place without it. And for most of us, we have a great deal of safety and security. Other parts of the world don't have that. So we can wake up in the morning without an, an immense amount of fear. And this is something that we can think about when we do wake up each morning. Fear of what might happen in the future. And we can be thankful for our automobiles. We get in our cars, we turn them on, and we get going, just like that. We're not thankful that we have these cars. And in some ways, the cars are, are, are very problematic for us. But yet, when we have them, we use them, and we can appreciate that. We can be appreciative of sunshine. I, I love living in Arizona. We have more sunny days than any other place in the United States. And the sun's warmth really can brighten up a person's day. And we should take advantage of that and be thankful for it. 
Although we don't often think enough uh, that we have enough of it, time is something that we shouldn't take for granted as well. We have time. And just imagine if our doctors gave us a week to live. We wouldn't have enough time. We'd be scrambling. We wouldn't even want to sleep at night. And so the idea that we have plenty of time, enough to relax and take it easy, is something we can be grateful for. Many people on earth lack the access of clean water. If you get an opportunity, watch the movie, uh, The Secret of Water. Uh, it's on Gaia. Clean water is something that we can be very, very thankful for. Something that is a huge, huge part of us, if not primarily what we are. We can be thankful for cell phones. Cell phones make talking to loved ones very easy. And we can be thankful for love. The world would be a different place if we didn't have the ability to love. It might be a horrible place if we couldn't love. We should be thankful for books. Books provide an opportunity to enter another world from the comfort of our own home and allows us many opportunities to learn. The simplicity of a campfire creates a lifelong memory for a lot of people. What comes to mind when you think of a campfire? Some experience, more than likely. And we can be thankful for campfires. We can even be thankful for, for pain. It would be difficult to appreciate life's joys without pain this duality. Where would we be without art? The world wouldn't be nearly as beautiful as it is if art did not exist. We can be thankful for holidays. Any reason to celebrate is something we should be thankful for. We can be thankful for freedom of speech while we have it. Being able to express our thoughts and, and feelings freely should never be taken for granted. If we don't have that freedom, we will severely miss it. We can be thankful for rainbows. The beauty of a rainbow is, is really unmatched in many ways the mystery and beauty of it. Tears are something that we can be thankful for. Sometimes when there's no words, tears express how we really feel. And many times that's, that's what happens. We run out of words and another way of expression comes about. And again, just simply waking up each morning, waking up today. Just waking up means that we have something to be thankful for, and we do it every 24 hours. We can be thankful for wisdom, that we can grow smarter day by day. We can be thankful for mountains. Mountains provide us beauty and recreation. And we can be very thankful for eyesight. A lot of people don't have very good eyesight or none at all. And being able to see allows us to really enjoy the beauty of the world. Just think if we didn't have something as simple as a grocery store, something that we take for granted. 
If we didn't have stores, we'd have to spend all of our time growing or creating or, or attracting our own food somehow. This is a skill that has largely been, f been forgotten because of the, the availability of grocery stores. Sunsets are a reminder that we should enjoy the simple things in life, that we should enjoy each day as it comes and goes. The different modes of entertainment that we have gives us many different ways to relax and enjoy life. We can be thankful for entertainment. We can be thankful for employment. Even if you don't like your job, being employed means that someone thought you were special, special enough for them to hire you. We can be thankful for the duality that I mentioned a little while ago and the, the diversity. The world would be a very boring place without diversity. Moon and stars, the moon and stars encourage us to dream. We can be thankful for electricity. Where would we be without electricity? And here we just flip a switch and we, we can see it in the dark. We can communicate around the world with, with electricity. Air conditioning. On the cool days and the hot days we have heat. This air conditioning is something that people wouldn't dream to be without, but yet we didn't have it centuries ago. It's such a luxury. If it wasn't for air conditioning, there would be very few people living in Arizona, uh, in the uh, Phoenix Valley anyway, in the summertime. We can be thankful for our hearing, being able to hear our loved one's voices. This is something that not everyone gets to do. We can be thankful for children, watching children laugh and grow and dream. And children keep things in perspective for us. We can be thankful for the ability to learn. The ability to learn new things means that we have endless and limitless potential. We can be thankful for oceans. Even the sea creatures we can be thankful for in the oceans. And they seem even too mystical to, to be real in many cases. Like we see these starfish and the octopus and all these different creatures that are so different than us and any, anything that we have in, on the land. Be thankful for the oceans themselves. We can be thankful for modern medicine. Without the advances in modern medicine, many of us wouldn't be alive. Be thankful for music. Music brings out new emotions for many people. We use music on a daily basis, I do. We can be thankful for entrepreneurs and inventors. Some of life's best inventions resulted from the, an entrepreneur who was willing to take a risk. And these entrepreneurs that are on the verge, and some of them actually creating free energy, are, are taking a risk to, of death from people that are greedier than they are. We can be thankful for warm clothing. On a cold day, there's nothing more important than warm clothes.
And there's many other things, even, even the freedom to vote. It seems kind of ridiculous sometimes, but the freedom to vote is something that many people take for granted. And it's something that we can really learn to appreciate, particularly particularly when we when we can trust the system. We all have things that we can be grateful for. I'm very uh, grateful to, to be living in the United States. Be grateful for choosing and choosing to live in, in Arizona, as mentioned. Grateful for the traveling that I've been able to do. Grateful for my partner and the beautiful home that we have. The list goes on and on and on, and I invite you to spend the, the next 15 minutes or so just kind of checking into your own consciousness and see what you might be grateful for. Even consciousness itself is something we can be grateful for. And not only grateful, but, but thankful. You know, these words do go hand in hand with Thanksgiving Day coming up tomorrow. We have a lot to be thankful for.
Let's take a, a few nice deep breaths, bring ourselves back into the room, wake ourselves up a little bit. We can be thankful for that. Simple, just being able to breathe. To be able to sit in silence and enjoy the present, present moment. Put our hands together in front of our hearts if you like. May each one of us and all beings be well, happy, and peaceful. May no difficulties come to us. May no harm come to us. May we all meet with spiritual and worldly success. And may we have the patience, the courage, and the understanding to meet and overcome any problems or any difficulties that we might face in life.